Manchester United might be forced to wait to sign dream partner for Kabi Manu. Man United are looking to sign a new midfielder in the transfer window, but might be forced to wait for their dream signing. Last season, someone close to Kabi Manu said he loves to play with Casemiro. The youngster broke into Manchester United's first team in November and was given the chance to start alongside Casemiro. Casemiro's defensive discipline allowed Manu to go forward without fear of leaving his teammates exposed, and he scored goals against Newport County, Wolves, Liverpool, Newcastle, and Manchester City. The latter was the winner in the FA Cup final at Wembley. Menu's goal against City was the most important of his career, but his strike in the 2-2 draw against Liverpool at Old Trafford was probably the best in terms of quality. Menu wasn't a prolific scorer during his time in the academy. He scored six goals in 56 appearances for the under-18s and under-21s, but his finishing improved last season and his excellent goals against Wolves and Liverpool are difficult to pick between. It's up for debate which goal was the best, but there is no debate about whether Mainu should continue to start in the new campaign. He confirmed himself as one of Europe's most exciting prospects last term and is a guaranteed starter on the opening day against Fulham. Mainu and Bruno Fernandes are two of the first names on the team sheet, although the same can no longer be said of Casemiro, who succumbed to decline last season. Although Mainu enjoys playing with Casemiro, the 32-year-old has entered the winter of his career and looked a shadow of his former self throughout 2023-24. Casemiro still allows Mainu to get forward because he sits in front of the defense, but his quality has diminished. Casemiro is not as effective as he used to be, which means Mainu and Fernandez must do more, and that's why United are looking at midfielders in this summer transfer window. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's new football structure understands the importance of signing a defensive midfielder, and United are interested in Martin Zubimendi and Manuel Ugarte. Zubimendi would be a shrewd addition from Real Sociedad, and Ugarte would add to the contingent of South American players if he signed from Paris Saint-Germain. Both players would be an upgrade on the version of Casemiro that disappointed last season, but it would be a surprise if they could have the impact the Brazilian did in his first year. Casemiro was outstanding in his debut season in Manchester, helping United to win a trophy and qualify for the Champions League. He was in the conversation to win the Sir Matt Busby Player of the Year award, and his replacement would, ideally, be of similar quality. While Zubimendi and Ugarte would be welcomed signings, it would be a surprise if either had the same influence that Casemiro had. The former Real Madrid star was still among the best in the world in his position when he signed, which is the standard United require. Neither Zubimendi nor Ugarte are considered among the best number six in the world. That's not to say they aren't quality players. And perhaps United will need to exercise patience. The budget is stretched this summer, and without offloading Casemiro, United might have to negotiate a deal for a midfielder using similar terms as they did for Sofyan Amrabat. United stumped up a sizable loan fee to sign Amrabat and inserted an option to sign him permanently. That approach could be used again in talks for someone like Ugarte. Ugarte could be another short-term fix to a long-term problem. United need a world-class defensive midfielder but will have to be patient to sign that player. The market in that position isn't inspiring and Mainu might have to wait for his dream partner. Manchester United's pursuit of a new midfielder in the transfer window had fans and pundits alike buzzing with anticipation. Reports suggested the club had identified a dream signing, a player who embodied the perfect blend of talent, experience and tactical fit. However, negotiations and other factors indicated that securing this coveted midfielder might not be immediate. Manager Neil Fairchild, in discussions with the media, acknowledged the complexities involved in such high-profile transfers. We have identified our targets, he stated, and while we are eager to strengthen our midfield, we must be patient and respect the process. Speculation swirled about the identity of United's dream signing, with names of world-class midfielders circulating in the press and social media. 
The prospect of adding such a player to their roster fueled excitement among supporters, who hoped for a transformative addition ahead of the new season. Despite the potential delay in securing their top target, United remained vigilant in their pursuit, exploring alternative options to bolster their midfield options. Meanwhile, in other news, Tottenham looked to hijack Fulham's move for Scott McTominay, as Man United named their price for the Scottish star after rejecting offer worth less than £30 million. Tottenham are the latest club to be linked with a possible summer move for Manchester United midfielder Scott McTominay. The North London club are said to be tracking the Scotland International, according to The Sun, and are ready to hijack Fulham's bid for the United star. The Cottagers have already had one bid turned down for McTominay, with United looking for a fee of around £40 million before they would consider letting him leave Old Trafford. United are reluctant to sell the 27-year-old, with Eric Ten Hag keen for him to remain part of his squad for the forthcoming season, but could be forced to cash in to balance the books. So far this summer, the Red Devils have already recruited Dutch striker Joshua Zerke from Bologna for a £36.5 million fee. While yesterday they wrapped up a deal for teenager French defender Lenny Yoro in a £52 million deal from Lille. McTominay came close to leaving Manchester last summer when he held talks over a possible move to West Ham. However, he stayed at United and went on to have his best season for the club. He scored 10 goals for the Red Devils across 43 games and started the FA Cup final win over Manchester City. United were willing to let McTominay go for £30 million last year, but are now holding out for a bigger fee, and along with Spurs and Fulham, there's also interest from Turkish side Galatasaray. However, the Scots' preference is said to be to stay in the Premier League and only wants to leave United if he is guaranteed first-team football. Tottenham boss Ange Postacoglu is keen admirer of the energetic midfielder and believes he would complement James Madison in the middle of the Spurs' side. He's seen as an alternative to Conor Gallagher, who had been earmarked as a possible signing for the North London club, but now appears will be staying at Chelsea. McTominay has already returned to pre-season training following Scotland's exit at the group stage of Euro 2024. Steve Clark's men failed to progress to the knockout round in Germany after picking up just a point in the tournament thanks to McTominay's goal in the 1-1 draw with Switzerland. In the bustling world of football transfers, where ambitions clash and fortunes are made or lost, Scott McTominay found himself at the center of a high-stakes tug-of-war between two London clubs. It all began when Fulham, eager to bolster their midfield ranks, made a bold move for the Scottish star. Reports surfaced that they had tabled an initial offer, rumored to be just shy of the $30 million mark. However, the bid was swiftly rebuffed by Manchester United, who, holding out for a higher valuation, promptly named their price for the talented midfielder. But the drama didn't end there. Enter Tottenham Hotspur, known for their penchant for last-minute swoops in the transfer market. With McTominay's future hanging in the balance, Tottenham looked to hijack Fulham's bid, throwing a new twist into the unfolding saga. Caught between two ambitious clubs, McTominay faced a dilemma. Would he stay loyal to Manchester United, the club that had nurtured him since youth, or embrace a new challenge in the bustling metropolis of London? Amidst the whirlwind of negotiations, fans held their breath, pundits debated, and speculations ran rife across social media. As the transfer window neared its climax, the football world awaited the resolution of McTominay's saga. Would Fulham meet Manchester United's valuation? Could Tottenham Hotspur pull off a last-minute coup? Or would McTominay remain at Old Trafford, determined to prove his worth under the iconic red banner? In the corridors of power and the heartbeats of fans, the story of Scott McTominay's transfer saga unfolded. A tale of ambition, negotiations, and the enduring passion that fuels the beautiful game. Tottenham Hotspur, under new management and eager to bolster their midfield options ahead of the upcoming season, 
have emerged as serious contenders in the race to secure the services of Manchester United midfielder Scott McTominay. The Scottish international, known for his robust playing style and versatility in midfield, has garnered significant attention from top clubs across Europe following his consistent performances for Manchester United. Reports suggest that Tottenham's interest in McTominay stems from their desire to add depth and quality to their midfield department. With a fresh tactical approach under their new manager, Spurs see McTominay as a player who can bring both defensive solidity and offensive contributions to their squad. His ability to break up play, distribute the ball effectively, and contribute goals from midfield makes him an attractive prospect for Tottenham as they aim to challenge for domestic and European honors.